Yeah, well, today we're going to show you a little trick that you could do with this scan tool and the newer Audis which could save you a lot of money or make your life easier in diagnostics of the electrical systems. Here we go, this is a 2009 Audi A4 2.0 liter. As you see the ignition is off. There is no key in the ignition. We don't have any smart start buttons or anything like that. And we're going to try to do auto scan with a vacuum. So as you see we picked our car, B8 out A4. We're gonna start the auto scan and see what happens. Once again the ignition is off and the key is not in the ignition. This is function that supported car does not communicate with the scan tool whatsoever. Now here's the trick. You press the brake pedal, you turn on the hazard lights and the high beams. You keep it pressed for a couple of seconds and you click the start button again. Let's see what happens. See, it starts communicating with the car. Once again, the ignition is off. All we have is uh, we have the high beam button pressed, uh, the hazard lights activated, and they keep on pressing the brakes. Although it's not going to communicate with a lot of modules, but it's going to communicate with uh, all the accessory modules like uh, ABS. Um, this actually might help you a lot if you have a problem with the access start authorization module which go bad and sometimes they just lock you out so the car is not working and if you tell it to the dealership they're gonna charge you arm and leg to fix that problem in reality all you need is a reset as you see we're getting some information out of the car so it could help you in diagnosing diagnostics of a lot of electrical components or it could just help you out in a big time if you can't turn on the ignition so here you go, um, the vacuum finishes its auto scan. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Okay, so it communicates, does not communicate with the engine or transmission module. You could scan the ABS module. Um, see, there you go, this is the remote start authorization module. This is the main module, if it locks out, it will now let you turn on the ignition and you will not be able to scan anything. And all you might need to do is, you, the only thing you might need to do is just reset the module for the car to start working again. So it scans the HVAC systems, central electronics, steering wheel electronics, it scans the cluster, CAN gateway. Well, the CAN gateway always communicates even if the ignition is off. So scans the memory seats, so as you see it scans a lot of accessory modules which could help you out big time if you're stuck and you cannot turn on the ignition.